So good morning students, welcome to the physics class. Today we are going to study about the second chapter that is termed as what is units and also measurements. So let us uh, consider the, what is the meaning of this measurements. Okay. Now I have uh, the one uh, thing. So this is an iPhone. Okay. I want to measure how much of what is its uh, mass. Okay. How much uh, the weight is there for this. So I will uh, take one uh, the instrument. Let us consider a beam balance for this. Okay. So this is uh, we have a what here? A beam balance like this. Okay. <coughs> so here it has a two pans. You already know it. Okay. So here we have a what here? I want to weigh this one. Okay. So here I will keep uh, the one kg in between of you. Okay. So here the standard uh, quantity is one here. I will just keep this one. And then unknown body I will keep here. Then it is possible to measure the body. Known standard quantity. Which is the volume? Unknown quantity. I don't know this particular thing. So I will keep this particular body here. Okay. Then I will start what here? Measuring that what is its weight. So then what is the meaning of this measurement? A measurement is the comparison. There is a comparison between the known known a physical quantity which is the what here unknown physical quantity unknown I don't know the weight of this one with the help of the known weight I can able to find out the what here how much of weight is that body which is measures so it means that what is the meaning of this measurement? Measurement is the comparison of the given physical quantity. Comparison of the given physical quantity with the what here? Known standard quantity. So that is what we termed as an what here? The measure. So, let us define a measurement. A measurement is the process of comparison. Measurement. Measurement. It is a process of process of comparison. What is that? Given, given physical quantity, given physical quantity, given physical quantity, with what here, with a what here, known standard quantity, okay, with the So let us consider the standard quantity. This particular standard quantity of a same nature. Okay. So of a same nature. Same nature. Should be of a same nature. So therefore, the, it is the process of comparison of the given physical quantity with the known standard quantity of same nature is termed as a modern measurement. So this particular thing, the standard quantity used to measure and express the standard quantity which is used to 
measure and also we can express. Let us consider here we have 1 kg. I measure this one and also I express this one with the help of what here? Kg. What is this kg shows? Let us consider here is the one, uh, the line like this. Okay. It has a 5 meter. What is this M is shows? It shows the what here? Meter. I want to measure the volume of this. Okay, one liter. What the liter is shows? That is termed as an what here? The standard water. The quantity is the standard quantity which is expressed or measure. Measure and express. The given physical quantity. That is the given physical quantity. This is the given physical quantity. Is termed as a motia unit. This is termed as a motia unit. So let us define what is the meaning that by a unit. So what is the meaning of unit? The unit is the standard quantity used to the standard quantity. The standard quantity quantity used to measure used to measure measure and express and express the physical quantity the physical physical quantity is termed as an what here? Unit. It's called a unit. So we have a different and different units. Okay. So we have a meter here, we have a kg here, we have a liter here. I want to measure the time for me. So time is nothing but it is measured in the what here? The seconds. So units is always measured in the two parameters. There are two parameters out there for this. So the first and foremost parameter is unit in which the quantity is being measured. Why the unit is used? It is used to measure the what here? The quantities. And the second parameter is the, the numerical value. So here is, there is a numerical value is there. Phi is the one point. This is nothing but a what here? The numerical value of this. So here is a one I mentioned here. The one is the numerical value of this. Let us consider here itself in a five meter. Okay. From here to here, there is a one meter. Is there? One meter. From here to here, the one meter. Here is the one meter. One meter. One meter. How many times the one meter is repeated? There are five times it is repeated. So the numerical value is a very very important here. This is always termed as an what here? The magnitude of that. How many times a meter is repeated? The meter is repeated five times. So that is why it is becomes a five meter. So it becomes a what here? These are the two parameters we can able to say units. First and foremost parameter is that the unit in which the quantity is being measured. That is the first parameter. And the second parameter is that the numerical value in which the how many times it is what here, the selected unit is repeated. That is the second parameter. So therefore, I can able to say what the physical quantity is. This physical quantity can be defined as the physical quantity is nothing but physical quantity quantity is equal to the first and foremost things I can able to say magnitude or I can say numerical value I can say magnitude of that magnitude magnitude into what is that unit Magnitude means how many times this particular unit is repeated here. So just to, for example, you can take uh, 6 liters. 6 liter is there. 
One liter is repeated how many times here? The six times it is repeated. Five meters. Five meter. The five is shows the magnitude. The M is a uh, meter is shows the what here? Unit. So then what is the meaning of the physical quantity? The physical quantity is the product of these two things I can able to say. One is the magnitude into what is that unit. So what is the characteristics of this unit? What is it? How you can choose that particular unit? Okay. I can't able to say. So the distance between the A to what is that B is the 5 liters. Because the units are what here? It should be what here? The constant. I can't able to say like that. So the choice of unit is a very, very important here. How you can choose that particular unit? Okay. Unit should be what here? Convenient size. It should be convenient for us. And there is a no ambiguity, there is a no confusion in it. You have to choose such a type of a what here? Yeah? Units. And then thirdly, unit should be what here? Yeah? Reproducible. It should be reproducible. We can able to define that particular unit in a proper manner. What is an hour? With the help of the hour, I can able to define what here yeah, one minute. One minute it can be carried into what here? Yeah? A second. Okay, which can be reproducible. Okay. Then there is an another important thing is that the choice of a unit, it should not be changed with one place to what here? Yeah? Another place. Okay, such a type of a unit you should be what here? Yeah? Taken into what here? Yeah? Consideration. So, Units and the measurement is the very important in our life and also in the what here? Entire the physics is depending upon this particular thing. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you very much.